Hi, my name is Hansu from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Malphite. So Malphite is actually really good in solo queue because even though he's not like a carry champion like Riven or Fiora, he still has a lot of impact on the game because of his ultimate and how much his roaming can do. And because of that, he even like even though his landing phase isn't as strong as other champions, he can still make use of his just like his whole kit and snowball across the map. Say you're losing lane by like 10 CS, right? You can just TP bot, get two kills, and then come back top, and it'll be stronger than the other guy. And he is actually really hard to kill because most people aren't coordinated enough in solo queue to be able to burst down a tank. Not only is he good in just like roaming and skirmishes, but his team fighting is also really strong because other teams just will not know how to deal with him. And they think like Malphite's completely broken because he just doesn't die. For a landing phase on Malphite, if you're against an AD matchup that's melee, you want to start corrupting potion and then just look to farm your first item like a sunfire or uh, like a iceborne, something like that. Generally, you want to go sunfire. And after you get that, you, you'll be able to farm a lot more easier because sunfire does a lot of wave clear for you. You want to max E first just so you can reduce your attack speed and win most, most all the trades. You generally don't win landing phase in the early part because your spells are super weak and you don't have any items yet. But after you get your first few items, you become really strong and it's really hard for the opponent to kill you, so especially if they build full damage. And versus AP matchups, rush like a banner of command just so they won't be able to push onto you. And then after that, you want to max Q and just be able to harass them and trade harass every time. And you're a tank, so you're a lot more tankier and you can take harass a lot better. And after that, around like level 6, you want to look for roams more. And just like look across the map, see what's happening. If there's like a dive going on bot or if they're like going super hard, you can just TP on the enemy bot lane and get a few kills. Or if the mid laner is playing super aggressive and you have the ability to roam down, then you should roam down and just try to get as many kills with your ulti as possible. It's definitely not good to use it in laning phase because it's such a impactful spell that you want to use it somewhere else. So you just want to save it in laning phase. And unless you're like making a dive top, which is fine too but most of the time you want to like, use it for your team and just try to snowball and kill the opponents. Uh, so the primary role of Malphite in a team fight is to be the hard engage and to go on the back line and like to also get like the biggest ulti off so if you can hit that four man ulti it's always worth it. Generally his role is just to engage out the enemy and then make sure your team can follow up. If your team can't follow up your engage then it was a bad engage and you should wait till a better opportunity or when like people are in position to follow up. If you're a 5v5 grouped, you want to be looking for multi-man engages. Like if suddenly three of them clump up to try to dodge like a skill shot from your mid laner, then you can look for an engage with your flash ulti. And after that, you just want to tank the tower or just like tank the backline and make sure your carries aren't getting hit. You just like slow them with your E and Q and then you just try to tank them for as long as you can. Like, don't commit too hard and just like play like you're fighting back unless you're super strong at that point where you can actually solo the AD carry or AP carry. For spell rotations and team fights, you generally just like start off with ulti, then you E, and then you WQ, and then you just auto for the rest of the time until your cooldowns are back up again. And that's generally the most efficient way to use Malphite is just E after his ulti, so they're instantly slowed and you have a guaranteed E because. They're still knocked up in the air. Most efficient engage, which is the flash ulti, you can actually queue up the ulti if you're out of ulti range. Like once you're in range of the ulti, then your ulti will immediately go off. So it's just like an easier way to pull off the combo and you pretty much set it up beforehand. So you don't have to <coughs> do much after you press the commands. And it's just like really good for an instant engage because no one expects it. So mob fights really good on teams that have a lot of follow up like Callista, which can throw the support in after the Malphite. Change the CC for like four seconds is really strong. Lulu's also really good at that. Just ulti the Malphite once he goes in. Pretty much any carry that can do a lot of AOE damage or Syndra even. Malphite's also really good against uh, teams with heavy AD because his passive on W scales with armor and the more armor he gets, the stronger he gets. For ruins on Malphite, I generally like to run hybrid pen reds, armor per level yellows, CDR per level blues, 
and flat armored quints versus AD matchups and versus AP matchups you run hybrid pen reds, health per level yellows, scaling CDR blues, three magic resist quints. It really just depends on the matchup whichever you like but those are the two I use most often. For masteries on Malphite I generally like to go 12-0-18 and I get 12 and frosty just because Face is really helpful for laning phase, you get some extra damage, and you're always going to be slowing other people, so you get more damage with Oppressor. And in the Resolve Tree, I like to go Recovery, Tough Skin, then Runic Armor, then Insight, Swiftness, and then Grasp of the Undying. I think Insight's probably the best mastery on Malphite because he's so reliable. Well, he relies so much on flashes, flash engages with your ulti, and TPs to get flanks off and even though perseverance is really good for tanks and makes them really tanky later in team fights their utility on insight is just 10 times better in terms of runic armor versus veteran scars i think 45 hp for a tank in laning phase isn't that big and with runic armor your regeneration is increased your um, passive shield is increased and any healing you get is also increased so i think it's a lot more helpful and you get Swiftness just because you can get kited, and Grasping and Dying just because it's the best out of the three choices. And it's really helpful for uh, melee versus melee matchups. For a skill around mob fight, there's two ways you can do it. If you're playing against a melee matchup, you want to max E first and go E, W, Q in levels 1 through 3, and then just max E and then W after. And if you're against a ranged matchup, you want to max Q, E, then W, just so you can get poke off in lane and not be like you'll, you'll have all in potential with Q, where you won't have it with the, or E if you're against a range matchup because it's just too hard to gap close and they usually have like some kind of dash to escape from you. Obviously, you want to max LT as soon as you can. For summoner spells on Malphite, you always want to go TP and flash because they help you do the most things in the game. So you can flash engage, you can TP flank and then flash engage. It's just, you don't really need ignite or any other simple cooldowns. For starting items on Malphite, you always want to go either corrupting potion or don't shield. Really depends on the matchup. Most matchups you want to go corrupting potion and after that, if you're against an AD matchup, you want to rush Sunfire into Iceborne. And if you're against an AP matchup, you want to get the Spectre's Cowl and then Sunfire just so you can wave clear better. And after that, it really depends on the enemy team comp and how fed you are and what you need to do to carry the game. Usually, if you want to do more damage, you can go Abyssal. If you want to just be unkillable, you can get like Thornmail or Rando and Zoman. There's just a lot of tank items that you can build. It really depends on your preference because each one's very different, but you can pretty much build any tank item you want, like Banshee, Spirit Visage, Banner of Command, CZ Rot Portal, uh, Thornmail, Deadman's Plate. Anyone works really. He's just super good with um, health and armor stats or magic resist stats just because like his scaling with AP is really bad and doesn't scale well with uh, AD. Uh, for Boots on Malphite, it also depends on the enemy team comp and what you're looking to do. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lowclass.com.